everybody welcome back my name is Rika and this is the house and stitch and stash with our special eating guest behind me at Chloe bear say hi Chloe she's right there um, she's currently eating her dinner so sorry if um, you hear her munching and quenching back there this is gonna be a late upload so I apologize but if you are a new viewer this is a channel about cross stitching, uh, about crafting, some travel, life stuff, really anything that has to do with anything. <laughs> um, but hopefully you guys find something in the channel that you like, that you learned something new or what. Um, but anyway, let's get started. I don't think this is gonna be a, a long video today. I don't really have a lot to show you guys. Um, I've had a really busy week this week because I was sketching up on some work and not a lot of stitching was done. There are some stitching, but not a lot. So I feel like la yesterday was a lot of stitching. And then I also had some time in the sewing studio for some fun stitching, a stitching, fun sewing for me. So I'm going to show you guys that. Um, and I'm also going to show you guys some of my Lego creations that I have done in the last couple of months. I haven't had a time um, to do any more, so, but I have still, I'm still collecting them and they're just accumulating in the basement um, because I'm afraid that they would either like get discontinued. So I just keep like buying the things I want now. But um, yeah, so I had a request about that to see if I could show you guys some of my Lego. But um, anyway, so let's get started with my works in progress. So last week is the start of September Sampler or Sampler September. And I have been working on my um, sampler of choice from Hands Across the Sea. Unfortunately, I didn't get to actually like do a lot of stitching on it that I wanted to, but there's some, some stitching. So, oh, okay. Look how massive this bag is. This is a bag from a, a fat quarter shop. And I believe this is a Lori, Lori Holt bag, but um, I was putting some things in here that I kind of carry around the house um, for easy access. Um, but anyway, so if you're curious what can fit in this bag, I have a pro a Rika, a Rika project bag, a House of Stitch and Stash project bag that has my um, hands across the sea in here. Um, so if you were curious, um, this is the one that I decided to do, which is the Anton Uffendale 1835. And I have decided to stitch her on a 36 count um, fabric is by fabric on a whim and it's called light brown sugar and this is my progress right now on my um, sampler so I've worked on the borders because I wanted to make sure that I have enough room so I am right like I Pretty much about I would say two inches of border left and then I'm gonna move on to the other side to make sure that I am okay but it seems like I will be fine like I think I have enough room so I really enjoyed this um, project it's different than what I'm normally accustomed to but um, yeah but this is the majority of my um, stitching was put on this project alone I'm using the called for um, threads, which are the Swadiage Swa, what is it? Averswa, Averswa. Um, and yeah, I really love it. I love working on the fabric. It's not super duper bad. So I've, my hair is like doing crazy things. Sorry guys, I just like didn't brush my hair today. Um, but anyway, so um, I like the fabric that I chose because it wasn't super duper small that I couldn't see the holes and um, yeah I can still see it without having to use a magnifying light which is great 
Speaking of which, I actually had an optometry appointment this week and um, my contact lens prescriptions have, are the same but the doctor did prescribe me like like a reading glasses prescription to use with my contacts so I can see better um, but yeah so I guess it's a good thing that my contacts hasn't changed a ton because that's what I normally really wear I only wear my glasses when I really need to like if I take my contact lenses off but I can't see really well with it I mean it's fine like my husband's like can you see but I don't like I don't like wearing glasses so yeah I try not to but yeah so that's the progress on my hands across the sea really loving this and hoping to have more time stitching on this this upcoming week which actually speaking of which so life wise sorry guys I'm all over the place if you don't know um, we went to the Ludwigsburg pumpkin festival we went last spring so they do a spring and a fall and um, the fall theme is under the sea and that was really cool to see like it's like I think it's like the largest pumpkin festival I think it's a pretty big thing we didn't get to see all because it was just so much walking but my army bestie Michelle came um, and she spent like two days here so we took her around and she jokes around that she lives in a black forest which she kind of does um, and um, there's really nothing where she where she lives so she likes to come down to us and be in the city because we have a lot of things there like you know sh like more options for shopping and all that but anyway so we had a great time and i think i have some footage footage food to footages from it so i think i'm gonna see if i could just put those in the back of the video so yeah so that was life and then next this following week we're actually going to um where are we going we're going we're going towards the mountains and we'll be there for a week and i'm planning on stitching so we're going there for my husband's work stuff and then um towards the end they do a marriage retreat which we've never done before <laughs> so my husband's like why are we going again so i joke around with him and i say it's because we need to work on our marriage <laughs> so um i'm just joking we don't we are like I'm very thankful my husband is like just the best the best partner I could ever ever want in a, in a husband so yeah so moving on to more works in progress sorry guys I'm just all over like I said I'm all over the place um in part of September sampler or sampler September I also picked up my um, Rosewood Manor this is the autumn Quaker uh, it feels like fall in Germany um, some of the leaves are so starting to change already our weather was never really awful this summer like it's like been rainy and just we were in like in the 60s so yeah so and you know what so today actually I got I got a drink from Starbucks and um what did I talk about um they have like the pumpkin spice is back or whatever I'm not into that I like refreshers i'm not a coffee drinker actually so anyway so this is my progress if you guys want to see a closer look so i've worked on this um part yesterday can you see better yes um it is very beautiful um i forgotten how much i've actually gotten done because i took it out of um like where it was being kept and i opened it and i'm like wow i actually have a lot of like i thought i um had you know i actually have a lot of progress on it so my goal is to just work on this until it's done i'm not in any rush but you know i'm stitching this on a 28 count um fabric i don't know who made this i don't know i i don't know maybe it's picture this plus i i'm not sure but um yeah so it's very nice very cool and the end result is looks like this so i mean <coughs> looking at it now i feel like i don't really have i didn't get a lot done but i just figured one at a time what one motif at a time like one big and one small and then before you know it i'll be done so yeah i'm really enjoying this I pulled it up last night so I was 
I couldn't sleep, and my husband, like, him and I were up until 3.30 in the morning. We kind of do that on a Friday evening, because I feel like that's, like, our way of, like, you know, doing whatever we want to do. Like, he stays up and watches TV, and I stay up and stitch. So, um, until I cannot stitch anymore, because I can't see anymore, or I'm just super duper sleepy. So, um, yeah. And then, um... I mentioned that the mystery stitch along with Fat Quarter Shop, which is called All the Trimmings, has started on September 7th. So um, if you are thinking about joining, it's not too late. And we did the first part, which um, are the Hollies. And I love it. Um, I'm using the um, Wishelt, Weishelt, um, linen and it's called chalkboard oh, I don't know I have a love-hate relationship with uh, with this fabric because I love the color but I am just not a fan of like the actual like weaving of the fabric like you see how you can see me see see through the fabric right um but I mean I love the result I mean don't get me wrong I just you know I feel like if I would do this again I might be pick I might just pick like a Zweigart because I love Zweigart. I just like the way it feels. I like the way it goes on my hoop. Like I have like some troubles like getting the thoughtness on this kind of fabric and see how it's like really stiff. So yeah, but maybe if you like stitch in hand, this is good as a good fabric, but because I don't, yeah, I was not like, I don't know, not very pleased with it. Actually, I need to go and search the ends too. Um, but I was really wanting to stitch on this. We watched um, Jungle Cruise last weekend and Cruella. And so I, uh, because my, you know, we had company. And so I just like went and just stitched on this until it's done. So um, yeah, you can, very doable, like one evening stitching. So I love that, like that quarter shop for me. I was telling somebody the, um, last night that, Five quarter shop stitching for me is like not mindless, but it's just like not very um, uh, hard, like involved. <laughs> like for example, like a Mirabilia or a head, um, Hands Across the Sea where there's like one over one stitching and I really have to count. And so I do love that, that I don't have to do that. So it's kind of good to mix up your projects with a hard stitching and a like beginner stitching or, you know, something that is not very... Um, doesn't require you a lot of counting or, or thinking. So I love that the second um, part of the series is going to be released on Monday or Tuesday of this week. I can't remember. But yeah, so I'm looking forward to that and um, hoping to have um, another finish um, at the end of the month. So that's really cute. Um, also, I'm using the Fat Quarter Shops, um, I think they call it Mary, Mary Plaid bag. Um, and then there's also the Needle Minder. And then I'm using the called for Weeks Dye Work um, threads. I need to put them in that little ring um, keeper thing. But they're all good in there. There's not a lot of color, so I kind of just stick it in there. So um, I think I'm going to bring that with me to our trip. Um, and then, as if I need any more, um, starts, I can't help myself, I have a problem, and it's okay, um, why, because it's my stuff, I bought it, um, I need to enjoy it, and so I decided that I was gonna start a new start last night at midnight. By like 11.30 because I can't sleep. Um, and um, this is it. This is my new start. So I... And this doesn't match. Okay, the needle miter. Forget the needle miter. This is a clay by Kim. But I have a new start. This is Chatelaine. Um, and I asked people if they have... If they think... If they know what it is. If they have any clue. And this is uh, Chatelaine, the Hol Holland Spring, Holland Springtime Mandala. So, um, I love it. Like, it's so pretty and I'm enjoying it. 
I really want this to be done <laughs> um, because um, I want this hanging on my wall because it matches a lot of my home decor. So I figured I'm just gonna go ahead and start it because no one else is gonna appreciate my stash but me. So I've had this um, kitted up for a while. I bought this from Yulia. Hi, Yulia. Um, and she was selling it on um, Stash Unloader, as Stash Unloading. And I love that because it's all like kitted up. I don't have to wait for months. But I've had it for like over a year now, I think. Um, it's just sitting in my stash, but I thought I'm gonna start it to start it last night, or whatever. So um, yeah, I love it. Um, can't wait. Um, this is mostly, I don't think the pattern calls for any DMC. Mostly um, like the silk. So it's really, it's a really good, uh, like it's fun stitching. I'm using a 28 count even weave. Lugana from Zweigart. So I went to Zweigart because I needed to dye fabric for this upcoming stitch along I'm doing with Scott Stitches in Spain. And so I bought this. I decided not to dye the fabric. It's just going to be white because I love the Delft and the blue and white together. And um, yeah, so I want that to be classic and nothing else as far as the colors. Just that the this red speak for itself because it is beautiful. Which is funny because I posted a picture of this last night and um, a lot of you noticed that I made a mistake on counting on this part right here in the in the, in the beginning. And I caught it, and, but a lot of you guys messaged me on Instagram and was like, before you get too far, I hope you know that you have this um, going on um, your... Uh, what do you call that? Your stitching. So thank you guys. I appreciate you looking out after me, um, but it's fixed now. So um, yeah, this is about, I would say like two, three hour worth of stitching. I'm hoping to get more done tonight while I'm sitting in front of TV, eating pizza for dinner. Cause we're just gonna have a low key, um, low key dinner. Then if you guys wanna see, these are, these are the threads for um, the Holland Springtime Mandala. So uh, yeah, I feel like it's pretty much all just silk um, on here. But yeah, it's very, very fun, very cool. Um, okay, so before I guess I would go on to other things, right? So I've noticed that, I might not notice, I mentioned that I'm doing a stitch along with Scott Stitches in Spain. So I bought the DMC threads yesterday. We are doing hands across to see Tom's Foolery. These are the colors. I'm not doing um, silk for that because it's supposed to be like a smaller piece and I'd rather spend money on silk that are like the bigger, um, the bigger pieces like Anne Weston. So these are the colors, but I dyed the fabric myself. The thing about dye fabric, which drives me nuts, is I like the pictures and like you just can't tell the colors and just how beautiful it is because I feel like it's beautiful. I will not be using it if I don't think so. But this is the fabric I'm using. I hope that you can kind of tell. Um, it's a little bit, um, I would say like, it has a hint of like peachiness to it. Probably can't tell. So I'm wearing white. It's not white, as you can see. Like, um, it's different, right? There's a shade. Um, so maybe better? Let's see. Can you guys see better? Uh, hopefully you guys can see the mottling. I really like, um, like a subtle mottling on the fabric. I don't want it to be super duper, uh, like, like stark. Um, I also had some people ask me if I could do a video um, of me dying. Um, unfortunately, at this time, I am unable to share the process because I I do sell some hand dye fabrics. So um, yeah, like this is might be this might be going for sale. Can you can see a little bit better in the color, maybe like that. Um, it's a forty count and. I don't know, maybe I'll just keep it too because I love it so much. I was like, I really like this um, this fabric. I 
thought it turned out really good. Um, and I feel like I have a project that I can use it for. So depending on how big Tom's Fullery's fabric requirement is, I might be able to like put two projects in one. And if that's the case, then I would probably put this um, up for grabs on my Facebook group, which is a half a stitch and stash stitchers, I think. Half a stitch and stash stitchers. Everything is on my Instagram. Um, so, uh, also, I just want to tell you, one thing in Germany, when you say large drink or when you say venti, this is their version of venti. Basically a medium. I was telling my husband that. I was like, this is venti. That is not venti. In American standard, that's not big enough. So I'm drinking the lemon iced tea. And I thought I should, try, I, should, I should try it. But anyway, so if you want to join um, me and Scott um, to stitch on Tom's foolery, I told him just let me know when he's ready to start. I'm bringing it with me to our trip because I'm going to be gone for a week. And so I thought... Just in case his fabric comes, then we can start whenever. So yeah, um, another thing that, another thing. So yeah, so that, let me end the, this portion. So that is my works in progress as far as cross stitching goes. And then I mentioned that I had a lot of time to do some fun sewing because I was able to push out the bags that I needed to mail. And right now I'm waiting on the fall fabric to arrive for the project bag of the month club. So hang on tight. The, um, the vendor messaged me and told me that they had some issues with the cut of the fabric that I ordered. And so I'm waiting for them to get that to me ASAP. So hopefully by the time I get back from my trip, it will be here that I can start on September project bag of the month club. So if you're on there, I've been so just amazed by how patient you all are and you know everyone is so kind everyone is so patient and just nice and you know you guys know that I'm just doing my best and providing you all with as great of a service as I can during these times especially since I'm in Germany and things just take a while to get here but um, I've been working on some um, some of some fun sewing and I want to show you guys what I'm working on so this is <laughs> okay let's see this is what I've been working on it's really massive this is the 2020 uh, designer mystery designer block of the month from fat quarter shop and I love it I'm behind on the mystery club I'm also part of the 2021 I have the block of the month for that for like four or three months I think but I haven't had time so I figured um, I would get on this so I finished putting them uh, putting them together uh, piecing, piecing the blocks together and now I'm just working on actually making a quilt top so I love it um, this is like so me I was like showing my husband I was hoping to hang on guys I was hoping to um, get that mailed to have long arm quilted on Friday but I didn't finish it so it's all good and then this is the other um, four blocks that um, I need to finish and attach to um, attached to the main piece I really enjoy I really enjoy doing this one I am glad I finished it so I would like just work on this I'm so proud of this quilt um, so yeah so that's like what I've been working on and um, for as far as the information on this uh, I think the the fabric is called Bloomington by Leila Boutique. I don't know if you'd be able to still find it. Um, and the block of the month is, like I said, through a fat quarter shop. Um, and I, I just love it. I like that they give um, 
a lot of fabric in their kits or in their block of the month and so I do starch my fabric because it just helps me get that really nice points and then I just love that if I mess up I have extra so I have like a ton of fabric that I need to actually cut into like um, like little scraps because I need to really like organize my sewing studio it's a mess in there and yeah I'm just trying to like I'm trying to have more space in there and stuff um, I'm thinking about like boxing up one of one or two of my sewing machines that I don't use every day and like taking it out of there so I have more space um, but yeah, I was telling my husband I just feel like it's so cluttered so I, I just you know anyway so so yeah um what else um, I guess this is the portion. Oh, Lego. So if you don't like Lego, skip on this part. But I have a lot of you, which is amazing because I've been showing not on my Instagram posts, but on my stories that one of my other passions that I started, um, like, be passionate about um, is, uh, is art Lego. And it's not Legos, Lego. I don't want to get um, fussed at for saying the wrong thing. And during pandemic, I, you know, I stay at home all the time. And so I've been always fascinated and curious about them. And so um, my husband bought me a set. And the first set that I did was the corner garage, which I can show you guys in my next floss tube. Um, and I really enjoyed it. I think I spent like a whole weekend just working on this Lego and I just loved it. Every moment of it, I was just smiling. You know, my husband is like, I don't know, am I married to a kid? But he doesn't care. You know, he, he's, he, he's just a great husband who lets me do what I feel like doing and encourages me to like work with my hands and just be happy. And, you know, it's better than like me going shopping, I guess, you know? Um, so he likes the fact that I stay home and I love being at home. It's like, you know, home is like where I'm comfortable, where I'm happiest. Like if I'm at home in my bathrobe with my cross stitch, Lego TV, not really TV. I don't really watch a ton of TV. Um, and like auto, like audio books, I'm happy. Like that is what I like to do. But anyway, so I digress. Let me show you guys um, once the ones recently, mostly recently that I've been working on. So this is um, the Harry Potter Diagon Alley. Um, this is the first building. It's really shiny because of the ring light. I love it so much. Um, it's amazing. The details on these things are just wonderful. I finished also the Hogwarts um, castle. And that is up in my studio. It's very massive. And so um, I don't have that. Like, I, I don't know if I'd be able to take it down again. It's up on top of my shelf where I put my fabric. Oh, hang on. A little spatter fell off. Fell down. Um, so, yeah, the details. And then he can open it like this. But, yeah, the details is amazing. Try not to break it. Um... So yeah, that's one. I have not finished this one yet because I've been busy with other things. Ooh, I would try to break it. Um, this is actually on our bookshelf downstairs. My husband, my husband um, puts it there. He he's such he like I said, just good husband. I don't have them together like in like a row because obviously I don't have enough room for for this in our house. Uh, this one is the, the other one is the Ollivanders and Scribblers. This one is um, Daily Profit and Quality Quidditch Supplies. Um, I have two more buildings to do on this, um, on this set. But I really love that some of you on my Instagram would message me and tell me that I inspire you to also work on Legos, <laughs> um, but yeah, so I've been really, it's been really fun for me to do, and um, I, like I said, I just love it, um, so hopefully you guys enjoy this part, I know it's something different, but this is also one of those things I enjoy doing, 
and it makes me happy to like put together little pieces and then come up with like this kind of stuff like that's probably one of the reasons why i love it is because you know you work 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 and you put together small pieces and then in the end you get this building i like the modular the best so i have a ton of that um i also have the disney castle um i really want to i was hunting this one that's from ninjago or ninjago i don't know okay i just like the way it looks so yeah so i have a ton of those i have a tree house i have the any modular ones that are like the police station um i'm looking for a diner and some of the older ones but oh my gosh they go crazy on ebay and on facebook like it's amazing to me how much people are willing to pay for this lego sets uh, i'm not there yet i'm just like if it comes it comes if it doesn't it's you know and i have a ton of it downstairs i also have an r2d2 because i thought it was cool um what else do i have down there assembly square and i got like two of the assembly squares for just in case in the future because again they discontinue a lot of the sets and a lot of people like they over like they sell it for twice the amount that they paid for um, i guess they retain their value actually um so yeah so that's really interesting right um one of the things that i kind of talked about on my um Friday Floss Tube Live um, that we uh, um, discuss um, are about needles. So a lot of you asked me what my favorite were and I mentioned it and it's the size 25 um, tulip needle um, and it comes in this little package and inside it is a little tube with the needles. So um, I love it. It's my favorite needle. Luda was the one who introduced me to this because I, you know, I asked her how she can have such beautiful stitching and she told me it's because of this. So, um, thanks Luda, I am obsessed. They are pricier, but worth it to me. Um, so, anyway. Okay, so I have, um, I have not really been buying things not really um so but i do have i um some happy mail that came from fat quarter shop so um i'm gonna show you guys so the um oh, let me start with this this teal thing for the first one um that came in the mail is their brand new stitch card box and um it comes in three different colors there's a blue, there's a teal, and there's a red. Um, and there it is. And what it is, is just a box to keep your stitching things. Um, some people put fat quarters in that. Um, but also like the L'Oreal Hold stitch cards are can fit in it. So when you open the box, the actual item is in bubble wrap. I haven't opened it actually. It just came and um, I mean, you know, I'm trying to organize my craft room and so I'm actually like uh, wanting to make sure that I put it in a good place and I actually use it um, wisely because it's so pretty um, and I'm still deciding what I want to put in here. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. Oops. But it's very substantial, right? Um, so there's a little handle in there. And you open it. And there's this little um, packaging label where you can either put recipe cards or whatever you feel like putting in the box. It's pretty big. What's the dimensions? Um, let's see. It's seven and a half wide, um, six inches high, and eight and five eight eight five eight deep. Um, it has one stitch card box in it, thirty divider cards, one foldable foldable spacer, and two label inserts. So I'm sure they're all in here. 
So yes, I'm still deciding what I want to put in this box and where to put it. But it's really cute. You can put it actually beside your sewing. I mean, your sewing, your stitching spot. And maybe you can put some of your smaller whips in here or whatever. Um, so that's that. Oops. And then I also got um, some patterns. This is the So Happy um, by Lori Holt with It's So Emma. I believe there is a stitch along for this uh, that's um, going to be happening soon. Sorry for the glare. And um, also got the flea market um, book with Lori Holt and it's, it's So Emma. Um, it has the um, quilt top. Do you make this? I don't know if there's a cross stitch pattern that comes to this. I don't think so. Um, so yeah. And then I also got a, uh, a quilt um, top um, pattern. It's called Whirlwind Quilt Pattern. As well as the new or not the new, uh, Hello, Hello Summer cross stitch pattern. This is in, um, in Stitch Quarterly. I believe this was last year's Stitch Quarterly, maybe Hello Summer. I don't know. Um, I'm not a member of the um, Stitch Quarterly. So if you are interested in any of these items, um, check out a Fat Quarter Shop. And also I got the scrapbook, book of scraps. That's some, I think that's the name of the, the book. It's upstairs. I'm going through it right now and reading it. And um, But I saw like a cute pillow. And, um, but yeah, but it's from Fig Tree, um, Joanna Figueroa, and another person co-wrote co the book. Um, so, anyway, so that's that. Um, that is it, right, for, um, ooh, no, actually. So my, my camera died on me last week, but I don't think it's going to die on me this time. I have, like, 20 more minutes to talk. Um, I have some questions about my Vel Velky Potoko. Potoko. Um, I still love my mini. Somebody asked me how it looks like when I'm sitting. Um, there is a video of me already doing the unboxing of this. So if you guys just want to check that out, you can really see me with it sitting. Um, well, let me show you guys. Um, so if I'm sewing or stitching and sitting down, um, this is how I hold up this so you guys can see. This is how um, it looks like as far as the distance, like this. So it's very perfect for me. And what I can do is I clamp a light here as well if I need it. Um, but most of the time I don't. So yeah, and then when I'm done, I take it off and I close it. And then you can also put it on the table like this and you know it's just a right like distance as well if you like to if you prefer to work on the table the only thing is sometimes it gets a little bit slippery so if you'd like to put like a little um nose non-slip i might do that actually a non-slip grip on here but because my um my dining room is dining table is like wood and so it's kind of sometimes slips on here if i'm stitching on the table so i prefer to really stitch on anyway anyway on the couch or in bed at night um but yeah so um one of the things that people ask me are um is uh my travel bag i did make this bag um and i love it so when i travel this thing can fit in here so let me show you guys um it fits in here like this. It just makes it a little bit bulky. Otherwise, it's totally fine in here. As you can see. See? It's perfect. Like, it has, you know, everything that I could need when I'm going places and stuff. Like, in the train, I can, like, whip it out, you know. I just have this on my shoulder when we're traveling this so yeah I love it I try not to bring a ton of projects with me 
um, in this bag. I just kind of picked like two or three projects that I know for sure I will work on while I'm gone. So um, it opens up like this. And I just kind of stuck things in there. And I have two of these um, like little um, pages. But I, right now there's only one in here because I don't need the other one. But you can put as many of this part of this pages as, as you want. This is a very involved um, project. But I, I really like, um, I love it for me. I don't know if I would ever do another one. Like it's just very involved. Um, and then I even have this in here too. So um, I have some people ask, you know, ask me what are in my, what are my uh, essential things in my um, traveling bag? So um, obviously scissors. Surprisingly enough, you know, we've been traveling a ton. This scissor, which is a Karen K Buckley scissors, has made it through security, no problem. Um, but I will not advise for you guys to put anything valuable in here that you don't want that can take can be taken away For example, your your saju scissors like I would not put that in here um, and then um, it can fit Like it has pockets in here as well on this side So I can put like my stitching um, In here that I wanted to take with us in our trip Which has the Mirabilia Ophelia I did not get to stitch on Ophelia this week. Um, I need to do that. Maybe today. I'll put some like an hour in. Um, so I I bring scissors. Obviously, my Belki Potoko is a must. Um, and then I just bring um, actually in this pocket in here. I have uh, two uh, um, clay by Kim needle minders right there. I need it. Um, and that's pretty much it. And then actually Holly of Stitchy Pearls. Hi Holly. Um, I have I have a, a needle minder from her. Just, this is like my just in case stuff. But that's really the only thing I carry with me. And then a lot of my patterns, I have them on my iPad as a PDF. And so I scan, um, like for example, my Marabilla. I scan, I copy, a working copy of it or I take a picture of it. And then I put that on my iPad. So I don't necessarily have to always go through my pattern and I don't mark on it. And the only re the only time I really use it is when I'm looking at the legends. So this is actually most of the time inside the sleeve. It doesn't really go away from there. So so yeah, so that is it. That's And then obviously needle, which is, you already saw. Those are my must have. I am very low key as far as traveling goes. Um, I am going to be making myself a, um, I, I'm going to call it stitching buddy. And I think I'm going to have those available on my Facebook group, maybe next year. But I'm planning on making one or two for Stitch West, which I'm going to be attending Stitch West this year. Um, it is with Debbie and Calf of Stag Harbor Crafts. So if you are going, say hi, and I would love to meet you. I tend to have RBF, but like my husband says, he lovingly says I have resting B face, and that's fine because I'm either always thinking or um, like thinking about what I'm gonna do next or what I need to do. So I always have that the kind of face, so, but it's, I don't get offended. It's his way of being funny. So yeah, so say hi. I'm shy, I'm really shy in person. Like you're shy, but once I get comfortable, I'm okay. Like I'll be like this um, I want to show you guys. I, I haven't done this in a long time since maybe January But this is actually August project bag of the month club bag um, This is actually Carly. It's going to United Kingdom um, But I'm holding holding on to it for her so that I can mail her September and August together So hi Carly if you're watching. Thanks so much for being patient but yeah, but I want to show you guys. I haven't showed you guys like I do so. I sometimes don't post it on Instagram on um, the bags that I make um, because, you know, I just forget. So yeah, I think that's it. 
Oh, Kev, I have, there are some questions I did not get to answer. I guess I can go through it real quick. Um, Kev, I saw her question about how do you always look so um, cute or something like that. She's so funny um, and so sweet. Um, Kev, it's all about the makeup. <laughs> you just spackle on as much makeup as you can put on that face and that's it. Um, yeah, she said, tell me all your beauty secrets. Um... Yeah, makeup. I have I just like put on makeup. Uh, my current my current makeup foundation is Estee Lauder Double Wear. I love that. Um, I'm a little darker because when we went on vacation, but most of the time I really like the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric. But because I'm hoping to kind of go back to my skin tone, I didn't want to spend a lot of money on foundation. And yeah, so. Um, that's my beauty secret. It's foundation. Um, no, seriously. I do also use the L'Occitane um, Night Serum. It's in a like a bottle. It has like looks like it has like little beads in it. Um, what is it called? Oh my gosh, I'm like having a not um, can't remember right now. If I could remember, I would try and tell you guys. Um, if you really really want this um, serum, but when I was in StitchCon, like that is what I use for my skin when I've been staying up all night and it still looked like I was a little bit refreshed the next day is that's that's the serum that I've been using. It's like overnight repair or something like that. That's what it's called. Um, and then also, yeah, foundation. That's it. <laughs> I don't really have any other beauty secrets. Um, so, Luda asked me, oh yes, please make us a video. When, when are you going to stitch a mandala? That's... Yesterday, Luda, um, I am going to, I am like, I am planning on going back to stitching Rosaria. Actually, do you guys want to see it? I have it. I have it right here. Actually, I took it out and I was like, I think I need to stitch it again. One second, guys. So, um, if you're curious, this is my Rosaria. I don't know what I showed you the last time, but I have made progress on this. This is Chatelaine. Um, and... I just need to really work on it. I bought this stretcher. Um, what do you call these? They're not helpers. I don't even know what they're called. They like just help the sides to be taut. And um, yeah, I need to work on this. I saw that a uh, monstrous frame is coming up, coming back. And honestly, so I've ordered a floor stand from. Velke Patoko a year ago, okay, a year ago. And they keep telling me that it's coming, it's coming. I don't know if it's ever gonna come. <laughs> but I'm thinking about buying a monster because it looks like it can also hold those kind of frames. So maybe I'll be able to stitch on those. Um, so yeah. Um, I'd love to know what you think about your new light. I don't like mine. I think it's okay. I don't know. I mean, actually, I feel like my skin looks better when I was using my phone. I'm using actual camera. It's a Sony... What is my camera? Sony ZV-1, I think is the name of it. Um, and it's okay. I mean, you know, I mean, like, I feel like my skin looks much better, right? I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. Um, and... Oh, I have a, some of the questions I was actually like getting was um, about German German living. Um, how do I how do I like living in Germany? What I like and don't like about Germany. So um, I, I guess living in Germany is okay. So you know we live inside a military installation, and most I mean not most all of my neighbors are Americans. So I don't feel like I live in. Um, German Germany I, I you know I feel it when I go out um, the travel is nice you know there's a lot of things to do a lot of places to see that are close to where we are because we're pretty much centrally located I feel we're like an hour away from Switzerland um, an hour and a half I think um, an hour and a half I think from also from France so we're actually thinking about what we're gonna do for Thanksgiving um, we're close to Austria like three hours I think away um, Poland is six hour drive so you know there's a ton of things to do um, like Paris is three hours in a train ride you know but 
you know, we like to travel, but at the same time, my husband obviously works. And so we kind of, I like, and I, I'm a homebody and I, I need some time to like recharge myself when we travel. So, um, yeah, so I think the next, next coming year, that's what we're going to do. If things don't close, then we'll be able to travel, um, the, uh, places that are close to us. But during the summer, you know, we went to Spain and Greece because we wanted to, um, visit our son, Tyler. So somebody asked me about that, like talk about your, your, your kids. So I have two steps, stepchildren. I call them, they're my, they're my boys. I've basically raised them and. Um, you know, I love them. They love me. Like, like I, I feel, I hope they love me. Um, so, um, but I, you know, I, you know, we wanted to see Tyler. Um, he lives in Spain with his girlfriend, Jessica. And then we have a younger one, Dakota, who is a first lieutenant. Yeah. First lieutenant. And I get the second and first lieutenant sometimes mixed up in, um, Georgia. So, um, so yeah, so those are our two boys and they're grown up. Uh, maybe when they come to visit, I will have like clips of them, you know, I asked first to see if they're okay with it. Sometimes they get shy um, and they don't know that I'm doing floss too. Um, I try not to like broadcast that. My husband is the only one who knows about it. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's okay. You know, things that I don't like about Germany is the weather. It's been raining almost like every week. Um, yeah, I wish there's more of, so I'm a summer person that like warm weather, so this kind of weather is not very good. And it's getting darker earlier and earlier. Um, so I, you know, fall is here, winter is not that cold, but you know, it's just longer. So yeah, um, I can talk about more of like, every time I think about something, I'll try to see if I can write it down. But I stop my head, like those are these really things. And that's it. And things that i love about germany um one of the things we like my husband and i is how germans are just like rule followers and we love that like we just appreciate that a lot like for example we were coming back from where were we coming back from greece and you know how on the planes like mostly people like get up and like um like you know when they land as soon as, as, soon as the plane gets on the gate well like we were um we landed and like my husband and i were looking in the back i mean they made an announcement you know please stay on your seat until your row is called you know covid covid procedures and stuff for your safety and most of the time people don't listen and when we look behind us like people like they don't get up they literally like wait until their uh, their row is called so we appreciate that about germans um, sometimes a little bit too much of a rule follower, but we, we appreciate that. Um, so anyway, that is all I can think of for today. It's almost an hour again. Um, I hopefully you guys enjoyed my last video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the kind words. Um, it makes me, you know, when I keep doing these videos, um, even more and I just appreciate you all. I'm going to try and respond to every single comment, but I do read them. So I think I'm just going to put a little hearts on them so you know that I've read them. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys are having a great weekend and I hope to see you guys next week. If it's a little bit later than normal, so I apologize, but at least it's better than nothing at this point. So um, yeah, so don't forget to subscribe, click the like button, not the dislike, <laughs> the like button. And if you guys have any questions or any um, idea from me for my next video, let me know. Um, and I'll talk to you guys very, very soon. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Bye for now.